I want to give all praises to the Most High, the Great I Am that I am, the precious Lamb of God who was slain for our sins, who was the anointed Savior and the Holy Spirit. Shalom is the humble Hebrew. Vocab Malone, the Jesuit. By the numbers. What numbers? The coding of letters, numbers, and words done by the elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, the Jesuits, whatever you want to call them. Now, before you think that I'm bearing false witness, keep in mind that multiple brothers have brought out the fact that vocab is a Jesuit but that's just on a hunch you know just in the spirit they they could feel that there's something off about this dude but when you add the gematria it's pretty clear that this dude is a straight-up Jesuit man and if not he's definitely a puppet for them or whatever you want to call it now I don't think they thought that we would figure this out you know they didn't think Jake would be into gematria you know they know Jake ain't, ain't that good at math but <laughs> but uh, like the Bible says That man of sin must be revealed Okay So We're going to look at The Jesuit oath Because some people might say Well hey listen Okay Vocab Malone is a He's a Christian pastor I mean Humble Hebrew what are you talking about I mean he'd be debating Muslims And he'd be he be on fire for Christ and uh, he preaches Jesus. Oh, what Jesus does he preach? Now, I'm not going to go as far as say this is the hidden hand, which, hey, the hidden hand. You know, I'm not going to go that far. That's a stretch, but, you know, watch this. The hidden hand, Jesuit. Oh, we got Pope Francis doing the hidden hand. We got all these gentlemen doing the hidden hand. But like I said, I'm, you know, my internet's slow, of course. But a uh, hidden hand, hidden hand, hidden hand. That's Napoleon, I believe. Hidden hand, hidden hand. Uh, Stalin, hidden hand. Marx, Karl, Karl Marx, whatever. Devil. Hidden hand, hidden hand, hidden hand. Now, like I said, I'm not going to go as far as to say it's hidden hand. It's kind of hidden, but. Wait till we see the Gematria. So we're going to look at the Jesuit Oath. And guess what else? I don't know if you knew this about Vocab Malone. But he was. He knew an actual terrorist. <laughs> we're going to look at this article. Oh we're already there. Phoenix pastor witnessed to Islamist gunmen. Who stormed rally in Texas. Pastor John Mark Vocab Malone. Witnessed to him regularly. So we have a false flag shooting. Which I'm going to prove by the numbers. That vocab Malone was involved in Now notice way back in the years You know keep in mind that he's also Vocab Malone is an actor Known for Islam Islamicize me and Muhammad's boom boom room So he was going real hard on Muslims But if you notice He switched his whole He don't even talk about Muslims no more He switched his whole thing on Hebrew Israelites He And he calls it Hebrew Israelism <laughs> Which I never even heard it termed like that before. But we're going to see why he termed it like that. And um, yeah man. Because this was a Curtis Colwell center attack. So we're going to look at that. But first things first. Before we go into the Jesuit oath. Because people might say okay he's a Christian pastor. Why would he. Why would he be preaching Jesus and then be a deceiver a devil. Because we're going to look and see what the Jesuits are about and who the Jesuits are. Who are the Jesuits? A lot of people don't know about the Jesuits, okay? Um, yeah, so we're going to look at that. But first things first, let me establish premise here. Okay? Vocab Malone 103. Now, he's known for being a apologist. Street apologist, somebody who defends the gospel or debates, whatever. But <laughs> nobody really uses that word apologist like this dude. Street apologist. Vocab Malone, 103. Apollo. Jetic, 103. Uh oh. Jesuits, 103. And who do the Jesuits serve? The Vatican, 103. In other words, the Holy Roman 
Empire. The unholy Roman Empire. 103. Okay. I believe he's a Satanist. 103. And if not... Definitely controlled opposition. 103. Okay. Now, like I said... He's a street apologist, right? Okay, street apologist. 201. Now, anybody who knows Jamatra is like, uh oh, 201. Okay, let's keep going. He's also known as a street evangelist. 201. Uh oh. What does 201 mean? The Jesuit order. Bingo. Got him, coach. 201, the Jesuit order. So what's the odds? Street Apologist 201, Street Evangelist 201, the Jesuit order 201. And, you know, Vocab Malone's not even his real name. Malone 102, the mirror of 201. Just to show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. George. Perry Floyd, 201 and 102. <laughs> I mean, hey, I don't know. Maybe it's all coincidence. Demon Possession, 201. So let's go into this. And um, first of all, before I get into this, I want to rebuke any evil spirits that are attached to this. Um, yeah, in the mighty name of Amashiach, um, I definitely plead the blood over this extreme Jesuit oath. The following is the Jesuit o extreme oath of induction given to high ranking Jesuits only. This oath is taken from the book of subterranean, subterranean Rome by Carlos Didier translated from the French published in New York in 1843. You can look this up on your own. When a Jesuit of the minor rank is to be elevated to command, he is conducted into the chapel of the convent of the order, which there are only three others present. The principal or superior standing in front of the altar. On either side stands a monk, one of whom holds a banner of yellow and white, which are the papal colors, and the other a black banner with a dagger and a red cross above a skull and crossbones with the word INRI, and below the words I don't even know how to pronounce that, but Iustum Necar Vigis Impious, the meaning of which is it is just to exterminate or annihilate impious or heretical kings, governments, or rulers. Now keep in mind this that King James, which is a whole nother video in itself, okay, and the black nobility that ruled Europe during the Dark Ages was highly against the Jesuits. That's why you hear of you know, kings of Europe and this and that uh, persecuting the Jesuits, okay? It wasn't the Roman Catholic Church persecuting the Jesuits, okay? They're, they The Jesuits worked for the Roman Catholic Church, and even if they were, they definitely infiltrated them. I mean, all the popes are devils, but um, let's keep it going. Try to get through this quickly. The superior hands him a small black crucifix. I'm not reading all this, Um Superior, my son, here for two, have you been taught to act the dissembler among Roman Catholics, to be a Roman Catholic, and to be a spy, even among your own brethren, to believe no man, to trust no man among the reformers, to be a reformer among the Huguenots, to be a Huguenot among the Calvinists, to be a Calvinist among other Protestants, generally to be a Protestant, generally, and obtaining their confidence to seek even to preach from their pulpits. You see? So they go high undercover, but let's keep going. And to denounce with all the vehemence in your nature, our holy religion and the Pope. And they do serve the Pope. And keep in mind that Pope Francis is a Jesuit, one of the first Jesuits to be a Pope. He's, um, there's a black Pope and a white Pope. He's the first black and white Pope. And even to descend so low as to become a Jew among Jews, so that you might... Be enabled to gather together all information for the benefit of your order as a faithful soldier of the Pope. You have been taught to insidiously plant the seeds of jealousy and hatred between communities. 
Hmm. Sounds like Bloods and Crips. Provinces, states that were at peace and to incite them to deeds of blood involving them in war with each other and to create revolutions and civil wars in countries that were independent and prosperous, cultivating the arts and the sciences and enjoying the blessings of peace to take sides with the combatants and to act secretly with your brother Jesuit who might be engaged on the other side but openly opposed to that which you might be connected only that the church might be the gainer in the end in the conditions fixed in the treaties for peace that the end justifies the mean. So as you can see, they play both sides. You see, and that's exactly what the Jesuits do. The Roman Catholic Church invented Islam. Okay. Muhammad's first wife was a rich Roman devout, a Roman Catholic woman. Okay. So you can see how they play both sides. And the only reason they started beefing with the Muslims during the Crusades is because they hired the Muslims to, to take over the Holy Land, you know, Jerusalem. But then once they took over Jerusalem, they didn't want to give it to the Roman Catholic Church. And the Roman Catholic Church was like, hold up. We hired you to take over the to take over Israel and now you don't want to give it back to us? Because you know they took their fake religion too too far. So then the you know the Roman Catholic Church was like, Oh, pff, all right, yep, we got you. And then now you got the Crusades and the Knights Templar which was the original bankers. You have received all your instructions here too, for as a novice, a neophyte, and you have served as co-adjuster, confessor, and priest. Now let's get a link into a little bit of this. Now in the presence, the extreme oath of the Jesuits, now in the presence of Almighty God, the blessed Virgin Mary, and the blessed Michael, the Archangel, the blessed St. John the Baptist, the Holy Apostle, St. Peter and St. Paul, and all the saints and sacred hosts of heaven, and to you, my ghostly father. Now, when they mention all these things, they're talking about fallen angels here. Because even when Catholics pray to these to these saints and these angels, they're praying to false angels. It's called um, involuntary worship of angels. Okay. Founded by St. Ignatius Loyola. Hold up now. Let's take a look at your friend, Ignatius Loyola. Let's see if I can... Can I get it? Mm -mm -mm. So here's your boy, St. Ignatius of Loyola. He created the Jesuits. Now notice he got his hand on his chest, which is a highly Jesuit. Look at your boy, Christopher Columbus. Hand over the chest. Some devil look upside down cross, which the cross is satanic anyway. Whether it's side or whether it's upside right or down, doesn't matter. But he definitely looks like a wizard. You can't deny that. Here's another uh, devil. Some more devils, hands across the chest. Look at this. Not coincidence. Hand across the chest. Hand across the chest. He looks like a Jesuit. He looks like a killer, man. This dude, this actor, hand across the chest. They're not pledging allegiance. Well, they are pledging allegiance, but. To the Jesuit order. Hand across the chest. Kind of, you know, you got Caesar Borgia, Caesarea Borgia, hand kind of across the chest. We know this is a fake representation of what Christ looked like. We know Christ was a black man. This ain't the video to prove that. Um, yeah, just more the so called Mother Mary. Or um, that might be that might be Mary Magdalene or yeah, it doesn't matter. Look, she got a skull on the book hand across the chest. So those paintings were, were highly satanic, but you get the gist on that. But yeah, and you basically get the gist on this. You can look this up. The Jesuit order, blah, blah, blah. A bunch of devil worshiper uh, Satanism. Yeah, man. <laughs> so. Now we can look at who are the Jesuits. The Society of Jesus is another name for the Jesuits. It is a religious order of the Catholic Church headquartered in Rome. It was founded by Ignatius of Loyola and six companions with the approval of the Pope of Pope Paul III in 1540. The members are called the Jesuits. The society is engaged in evangelism, evangelization, and apostolic ministry in 112 nations. So, these cats... Do not preach the Jesus of the Bible. Okay. They preach, you know, Lucifer, Tammuz, 
You know, they worship gods. You know, even Paul said, if someone come preaching another Jesus, let him be accursed. Okay. Now let's get back to your boy, Vocab Malone. Now this article is by God Reports. I'm going to show you that they're in on it. Um, the God Reports. Um, oh, God Reports. God reports 137, 56, 133, 52. Boy, where do I even start? Like, it's crazy. Anybody who's followed Gematria is like, whoa. 137, that's the 33rd prime. So you got your 33, 56. Uh, Pope is 56 and 52. Um, Boy. Society of Jesus is 56 um the whole world is t is upside down because of coronavirus coronavirus 56 so that shows you the jesuits are in on it mind control 56 toilet paper 56 now you see why toilet paper was such a big deal earlier this year so back to god reports God reports 137, 56, 133. We're talking about your boys, the apologists. 133, 137, 56. <laughs> you get that? One um, quote from a uh, vocab is making making apologetics fun again. You got your 137 there. Oh, and check this out. Um, okay, perpetrators. Nadir Sufi. Okay, remember the attack I'm telling you about? The Curtis Colwell Center attack in which Volk Malone knew one of the gunmen somehow. Highly coincidental. Uh, his name is Nadir Sufi. I know his name better not link in with this. Yeah, Nadir Sufi 56. All right, let's keep going. Vocab Malone. I might be able to keep this under 30 minutes still. Okay, Vocab Malone, 59, right? Now, his real name is John Mark Reiser. So, John Reiser. I already showed you Vocab Malone is 59. John Reiser, 59, right? Texas shooting, right? This shooting took place in Texas, Garland, Texas. So we got Vocab Malone, 59, his real name, John Reiser, 59, Texas shooting, 59. He serves his master, Pope Francis, 59, member Catholic means universal, 59, Freemasonry, why is Freemasonry 59? You know these people are about Illumination 59 As in Illuminati Enlightened one In other words Satanists Because they worship the light bearer 59 And just for good measure Hail Salakia Hail Satan 59 So Back to the article, Phoenix Pastor. Great. Phoenix Pastor. Hmm. Whew. Missed. So let me see something real quick. Abdul Malik Abdul Kareem. Okay. All right, let's get his name real quick. He's one of the perps. Abdul Malik Abdul Kareem. Okay, there you go. 71. All right. 71 like who? So 
So we just... 71, the Society of Jesus. We just found out that the Jesuits are also called the Society of Jesus. So what's the odds that one of the perps' names is 71? The Society of Jesus is 71. Um, well, let's read this article. Well, we could skim through it. Okay, he was involved in some mosque evangelism. Uh-oh, there's some parentheses. If you follow my channel, you know the parentheses mean they're trying to tell you something. Oh, mosque evangelism, 71. All right, just like Society of Jesus. Just like one of the perps' name. Just like what else? You're going to notice that these same perpetrators keep coming up. Catholic, 71. Um, Talmud, 71, right? Um... Mossad, the CIA for the uh, for Israel, 71. They're devils. They worship devils, 71. Jay-Z's favorite saying, do what thou wilt, 71. That comes from the Satanic Bible. Um, Masonic Temple, 71. Hidden Hand, 71. Hidden hand. Uh oh. D O C I seventy one. Oh, one thing. Um, the dude's name. Remember Abdul Malik Abdul Kareem. He had Abdul in there twice. Okay, and I, I'm gonna show you why he did. Malik Abdul. Karim, 71 and 179. Okay, 179. Who are the Jesuits? Societas Ayusu. Right? That's Latin for Society of Jesus. Societas Esu. Now, we know this better not equal 179. T 179. The Latin version of Society of Jesus equals 179. Oh, wait, there's more. Watch this. Watch this. Ancient Scottish, right? Freemasonry. Ancient Scottish, right? Freemasonry, 179. In other words, in other words, the ancient and accepted Scottish, right? Yeah, the ancient and accepted Scottish, right? That's what it's called. Uh, Scottish Rite is one of the, if not the most powerful rite of Freemasonry, okay? But wait, there's more. But wait, this one's a banger. Check this out. So this shooting happened on May 3rd, 2015. Vocab Malone's birthday is November 5th. You see where I'm going with this, don't you? Well... From Vocab Malone's birthday, right? Um, November 5th, right? I can't make this up. Numbers don't lie. So November 5th, which his birthday would have been 2014, right? The shooting happened May 5th, 2015. May 5th, 2000. Well, type it out. 2015 right because his birthday would have been the end of 2014 going into 2015 when this shooting happened may the third slot you may the third okay watch this so we already showed you that Scottish Rite in Freemason or Scottish Rite in Latin is 179. Ancient Scottish Rite Freemasonry 179. Ancient Accepted Scottish Rite Freemasonry 179. This better not be 179 days. Oh my goodness. 179 days from Vocab Malone's birthday to the day of the shooting. Bingo. Mm -mm -mm. Right? 
do what thou wilt. We keep talking about this. Do what thou wilt, 179. That's out of the Satanic Bible. This shooting happened when? 2015. The year 2015. 179. Okay? Son of perdition. 179. And that's exactly what's happening. 2 Thessalonians 2 and 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there be a falling away first, and the man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. That's why all these people are getting exposed. The Jesuits, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, Esau. They're all getting exposed because the mystery of iniquity doth already work. I would love to go into this chapter with you, um, as well as Revelation, where it says, Go within the perdition, even he is of the seventh and of the eighth. That's another video. Um, we're still on 179. Just, um, you know, Mossad agent. One of them perps, probably Mossad agent or something. 179. Um, and actually, the perps, two of the perps ended up getting smoked. Check this out. The Curtis Colwell Center attack was a terror attack on an exhibit featuring cartoon images of Muhammad. <laughs> what? At the Curtis Carwell Center in Garland, Texas, May 3, 2015, which ended in a shootout with police guarding the event and the deaths of two shooters, the attacker shot an unarmed Garland Independent School District security officer in the ankle. Shortly after opening fire, both attackers were shot and killed by an off-duty Garland police officer. Does that make any sense to you? How do you get shot in the ankle? The FBI had been monitoring the two attackers for years. And an under, undercover agent was right behind them when the first shots were fired. Does that make any sense to you? <laughs> the FBI was watching them for two years. How did Vocab Malone get to preach to this dude? When I this is this is a this is your boy Vocab. When I heard about the attack, I wasn't surprised," said Riser, a teacher pastor at Roosevelt Community Church. He'd expressed admiration for jihad before. He told me Osama bin Laden was a hero. I'm just saddened he did it. It's sobering to think he's facing God's judgment right now. Was there anything I could have said or done differently that could have saved him? Elton Simpson was an accomplice and an accomplice were shot dead by a cop with a handgun in Dallas on Sunday as they attempted to attack Muhammad Cartoon Drawing Convention. A deliberate provoc provocation to Muslims who feel offended by artistic rendering renditions of their prophet. Riser considered him a friend. Elton was not insane. Elton was not mean. Elton was not rude. Elton was not wild-eyed. Elton was not constantly angry. Elton never threatened me. Riser wrote on his blog, Street Apologist. We already figured that out. That's Jesuit. Elton was calm, level-headed, smart, and studious. He was generally kind and well-mannered, bright and articulate. He spoke smooth and easy. Elton was not a poor, unwanted outcast, a down and outer. He was not, neither the simplistic narratives of the right or left work for him. While the two were friends, <laughs> they both tried to convert each other. We had interactions about Jesus was what the Bible is, who Muhammad was, what the Quran is, Riser said, I cared about his salvation and I believe in his mind he was concerned for me. Once when Riser was handing out Arabic books of John outside of Phoenix Mosque, where now that's a good idea, you know. I mean, that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying that things he's doing, but, but you got to keep in mind, okay, he's not preaching the Jesus of the Bible. Okay, this guy says the commandments, we don't have to keep the commandments. When Jesus said himself, Matthew 5, 17, Think not that I am come to destroy the law of the prophets. I am not come to destroy the law, but to fulfill. For verily, verily, I say unto you, Not one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. Okay? Clear as day. Even Paul said in what? Romans 3 and 3. Um, he said, you know, we established the law. Okay? What, do we make the law void through faith? God forbid. Yay, we established the law, okay? Revelation 14, 12. Here is, let me get it. Okay, so that's the first. Anybody who teaches you that the God's commandments are done away with <laughs> is a devil, okay? Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith in Jesus. Okay. 
uh, what is this? Uh, since he's passing out books of John, uh, you know, and I know this because he debates vocab. He debates with Hebrew Israelites on things like that. Like, do we have to keep the law? Okay, the Christianity of today, and I hate to say it, is highly pagan. Many shall say on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in, the name, in thy name? And he's going to say, you verily, verily, you know, he's going to say, away from me, you, you, you workers of iniquity. What is iniquity? Sin. Okay. Christians today, they, they celebrate Christmas when the Bible tells you in Jeremiah 10 to not decorate a Christmas tree with silver and gold. But a lot of Christians are, are searching for their Christmas tree right now. Okay. The Bible tells you not to eat pork. Christians are going to have a nice pork, you know, ham this Thanksgiving. Okay, the Bible tells you to, to keep the Sabbath holy, to worship him on the Sabbath. Christians say, no, it's okay to go to the sun and worship the sun on Sunday. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So, I mean, hey, okay, where am I at? Slakia. Okay, let's keep going. I thought I was going to be able to do it in 30 minutes. That's my fault. I get to babbling. Um, 179. Uh, check this out. Vocab Malone. Vocab Baloney. Uh, 194. Fake shooting. And you know, when people, you know, people, they always try to pull this out. Oh, man. You, you're not humble. You're, you're mocking them. First of all, the pro didn't the prophet Elijah mock the false prophets of Baal? Okay. So, I mean, and the Bible says that Moses was the most meek man on earth and he killed an Egyptian. So, hey, the most high's opinion of humble and, and meek is different than man's. Okay. Fake shooting 194. Why is fake shooting 194 and vocab Malone 194? Why is Catholic 194? Hold on. Is it Roman Catholic? Is it Jewish? Oh. Catholic and Jewish Gematria is 194. Hmm. Go figure. Um, Right? As in Scottish, right? Oh, is that Jewish too? Yeah, 194. Um... And he's really obsessed with this truth movement, right? Truth movement, 194. That's why his whole focus recent years moved from Muslims to, to the Hebrew Israelites now. And keep in mind that his movies, Vocab Malone, known for Islamicize Me and Muhammad's Boom Boom Room, are like, I ain't watched them, so I can't speak on it. But I bet you that he named this Muhammad Boom Boom Room. Yeah, you know I'm about to look that up. Muhammad Boom Boom Room. 244. Okay. Um, Muslim Brotherhood. 244. Holy Cross Crusaders. 244. Um, what we've been talking about this whole time. Ancient and accepted. I don't even know what that's about. Like, what does that mean? Ancient and accepted Scottish rite of Freemasonry. 244. Like, what is what is accepted? Like, what is that? Like, what is... I don't know. These... How are the things that Esau searched out? You see this ancient, the ancient accepted Scottish rite of Freemasonry. Okay, the eagle, right? Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle and set thy nest among the stars, thence will I bring thee down. NASA faked the moon landing and then said, the eagle has landed. 
Okay, so we looked at Boom Boom Room. Now let's look at Islam Size Me. Um, copy link text. Can we do that? Yep. Islam Size Me. Oh, that's not right. Nope. Let's spell it out. Islam is size me. I probably spelled that wrong. Islam is size. Islam is size. Okay, that's good if I could skip that. Islam is size. Oh, Z. <laughs> it's uh 1113, pretty tired. Islam size me 74. Great. 74 uh, Muhammad I never spell his name right Muhammad 74 right I told you that Muhammad was funded by the Holy Roman Empire just like they always do they always pick these people and they fund them and they put them into high positions just like Bin Laden right just like Bin Laden was Tim Osman Bin Laden Tim Osman. Hold up. Bin Laden. Tim Osman. Okay. That's what they do. They take people. Check them out. Tim Osman. They take people. Oh, and they did that with um Saddam Hussein, too. That's why Saddam Hussein was like, yo, you guys funded me. Like, he was like, what are you guys tripping over? Right? But they, they had to get to that. Middle East, so-called Middle East, you know, it's pretty interesting how they, how that whole thing turned out. And, you know, they stole all the artifacts, you know, all the little secrets over there in Babylon, ancient Babylon, you know, and for those of you talking about America and Babylon, that's another video. Okay. There's <laughs> the scriptures prove America's Babylon, but go ahead, dislike the video, do it whatever you got to do. You know, Christian scholars tell you that America. I mean, there's Christian scholars that say America's Babylon, but then, but among theologians, they say that you know that whole Middle East, uh, Iraq is Babylon of uh, the future that's going to be destroyed. When that doesn't even make sense. And if America isn't Babylon, then we got a whole other captivity to go through. That's another tis That's another story. Another video. Holy Roman Empire, unholy Roman Empire, 74. Here's the Greek version of Jesus. I-E-S-O-U-S. -S. Iosis, 74. Okay. All of these are 74. Lucifer. Jesus, 74. Cross, 74. Messiah, 74. Gospel, 74. Okay. Preacher, 74. Now, this is what I don't get about some people who teach Dematra. They say, oh, look, Lucifer, Jesus, gospel. Um, all these words are 74. So, therefore, the Bible's fake. Are you kidding me? Was the Bible written in English? <laughs> are you kidding me? Was the Bible written in English, bro? Or did English come after the Bible? Do the math. They created the English language out of the Bible. Okay, the Jesuits did that. The Freemasons. They separated the Bible into chapter and verse. Who did that? The Masons. That's why sacrifice is 46 and you got to sacrifice in Genesis 46. That's why I am that I am is 314 and you got Exodus 314 where he says I am that I am. It's clear as day. It's another video. Ron 74. Um, Riser. Remember his last name is Riser. It's lucky if I'm coming off arrogant, but um, it's just man, I, I therefore I hate every false way. Riser seventy four. What's his name? John Mark Riser seventy four. He was passing out what? Arabic books of John 74 and what did we read earlier the Jesuit extreme 
oaths 74 okay yeah man vocab 92 what is he involved in urban apologetics uh oh in the asterisks whatever asterisks whatever how you ever you pronounce that urban apologetics let's get it urban apologetics 92 so we got vocab 92 urban apologetics 92 vocab Malone and Jewish gematria is 902 okay there's a 92 remember in the rules of numerology zero don't count so you got another 92 right there what was he linked to the Curtis Colwell Center attack this better not be 92. It better not be. It better not be 92. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. Apologetics. I skipped a bunch of notes because this stuff is making me mad, honestly. Because, okay, Apologetics 122. I think this dude's a Satanist. Um, well, Satanists is 122. What I was going to say is Satanic is 122. Or... Occultist 122. That's what apologetics are, if you, if you don't get it. <laughs> They're very esoteric. 122. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I'm skipping a lot of these notes because by now it should be clear. I'm, I'm skipping, yeah, Street Apologist Live. I don't even need to break it down. It's the same thing over and over again. All his little monikers, Street Apologist Live, uh, you know, um, Urban Apologetics, all these things, they all link in with the Jesuit order over and over and over again. So I'm just going to end it with this last one. Uh, you know, Hebrew Israelism. Hebrew Israelism, because he crowned that. I've never heard that term like that before. Hebrew Israelism. He crowned that. Hebrew Israelism. Don't even get me started on 239. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, 239 is the 52nd prime. Okay, it doesn't apply here, but Hebrew Israelism 166. In other words, he's fascinated with the chosen people. The chosen people, 166 <laughs> and 239. See that? He's definitely linked in with a secret society, 166. Or he could be a CIA agent. Let me see something. CIA agent is 166 in Jewish gematria. You know, the book of the law. I guarantee you he's read this book. I guarantee you he's read this book. The book of the law. And I'm not talking about <laughs> the Torah here. Uh, I'm not talking about Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. I'm not talking about that. If you don't know what the book of the law is, well, let's get it. The book of the law. What's this? Oh, the book of the law by Aleister Crowley, the Satanist. Oh, great. <laughs> That's where the do what thou wilt comes from. Yeah, man. Um, hey. These people claim to have secret knowledge. 166. Okay. They learned it from the Babylonian Talmud. 166. In other words, they're Kabbalists. 
A Kabbalist, 166. Okay, they're working on what? Their One World Order, 166. It's all started Amerigo Vespucci, what America's named after. Amerigo Vespucci, 166. So you're talking about your American. Amerigo Vespucci, 166. They're looking on their One World Order, 166. In other words, their Fourth Reich, 166. Okay. The government, 166, which means to govern mind, govern mental. You see what the purpose of the government is? 166. In other words, programming, 166. And you notice they put a lot of their programming on their television programming. And if you notice, MK Ultra is mind control. Okay, they started that. The CIA started that in the 1950s. MK Ultra. But you notice the new TVs are what? 4K Ultra. Can you spell hypnotism? We're on 166. While we're on 166, okay. The all seeing eye of God. Why do I have so many E's there? All seeing eye of God, 166. Not the God of the Bible here. Okay. And that's why when you see the all seeing eye, you know, I was already on Google. Um, the all seeing eye, like if you Google it, the all the all seeing eye with the pyramid, I mean the God of the Bible don't pop up. Who pops up? The Lucifer's eye, all seeing eye. You notice it's a pyramid. Because that's the way Lucifer sees everything. He's at the top and he has his minions at the bottom. He can't be everywhere at once like the the most high can be. Okay? He's not omnipresent, so he He's at the head. He has his little minions at the bottom doing their work. Okay? That's how he's able to see everything. All seeing eye, 166. Definitely almost done. Um, the Big Bang Theory, 166. With your boy Charles Darwin, which was a <laughs> was definitely a Freemason. Okay. The Big Bang Theory, 166. In other words, the big lie, 166. Like, here's my thing. You either believe in creation or you believe in the Big Bang Theory. Okay, there is no, I don't know how we got here. You ask somebody, you ask these, Jez or these I'm not going to say it. You ask these Jamatra people, uh, do you believe in the God of the Bible? I believe in God, but I don't believe in the, the Bible. Uh, I believe in spiritualism like what are you talking about bro do you believe in evolution or do you believe in the god of the bible okay i'm gonna start a series defending the bible to prove to you that whoever wrote the bible is beyond time and space okay written by over 40 authors over over 3,000 years apart and it all has the same message come on man not only that the prophetic events of that and now it's so prophetic now they're saying oh they must be they must be forcing the Bible to come to pass like a script. They're using it like a playbook. You kidding me? So they knew that they was going to put a chip in people with technology thousands of years ago. They knew that they were going to create, you know, that's a whole nother video. I'm giving away too much, you know? Yeah, I'm done with this video. I want to give all praise to the most high, the great I am that I am.